In today's video, I want to show you guys on how to make an interactive quiz like Google Slides. Specifically, I want to show you on how to make a multiple choice question so your audience could pick from A, B, C, or D, and it'll tell you whether the answer is right or the answer is wrong, and it'll move you on to the next question. So here I am. I am on Google Slides, and as you can see, I just created this document. I'm going to just title this quiz game, right? For example, I want to change it to Poppins, you know, my favorite font, you already know. And this is just the title slide, uh, nothing really spectacular. So next up is I want to add a new slide and I want to just put the questions here, right? So for example, let's just think of a sample question, like what planet do we live on, right? Obviously I'm going to make the multiple choice buttons. And with that, I'm going to hit over here to create a shape and you can pick whatever shape you want. You can make an emoji. You could even use an image for the button, right? But for today's purpose, I'm going to use a rounded rectangle and I'm just going to put it about this size right here, right? So with this, I am going to change the text or the stroke. I could just make the um, stroke a little bit thicker just so it's easier for people to see. And I'm going to change the color to black. Again, formatting is really up to you, but I'm just going to make it blue, for example. Now you can double click the shape and you can actually type in the shape, right? And I'm just going to put, for example, a, I don't know, Venus, right? Some random planet. Boom. And you can make it a little bit br uh, bigger in font size. I'll just change the color to a little bit lighter. So there you go. What planet do we live on? So we have A, Venus. I want to copy paste this. So we have two options now. B, Earth, which is obviously our correct answer. And I'm going to copy paste these two again. Line them up right here. And I'm going to do, I don't know, C, Mars, and D, um, I don't know. For example, Mercury, right? I'm gonna grab all my options here and I'm just going to center it right here. So, you know, the grids kind of snap um, these options into place. So there you go, perfect. So now we have the question, what planet do we live on? Now, for example, they pick Earth, right? Which is the correct answer. I'm just gonna copy the slide right here and I can actually paste the slide and this is gonna be the correct answer slide, right? So for example, they do answer um, the question correctly. I want this to be green right and i want the text for example to be white why not right uh maybe i make it a darker green so it's more of a contrast so you go perfect this is like okay correct you pick earth right you pick the right answer so you probably would want to add a little tooltip here saying correct the right answer is earth we all know that we live on planet earth and not any of these other planets actually i could put this in the bottom right here that will be better. There you go. Perfect. So now I have this correct, you know, this is where we live. Add a shape here in the background. I'm going to add a green, the same green that I've used. So I'm going to use, I'm going to change this fill to green and I'm going to change the border to none. So transparent. And what I'm going to do is put the shape down here and move it over here. I'm going to right click order and hit send to back to make it go all the way back. And now I can actually go center this and I can hit enter, maybe like right here. There you go. Perfect. And now change this to white. So there you go. Correct. The right answer is Earth. We all know that we live on planet Earth and not any of these other planets, right? So it gives you a little tooltip on the bottom. Now, what if they pick the wrong answer, right? There's two ways to go about this. You could have a universally wrong answer where if they pick any of these other, other three, um, it'll tell them that they're wrong or you can actually be more specific and actually break down why each answer is wrong So in that sense, I'm going to copy and paste again the same slide as the first slide But again this time for example, they picked Venus, right? They don't know what they're talking about. They think we live on Venus and I just want to copy this tooltip right here and I could paste it back down over here and I'm going to change it to this um, Dark red right wrong for example and you know, they picked Venus. So the reason why so now you have to reason with them why their answer is wrong. For example, um, even though Venus sounds like it's the right answer, we can prove that we live on Earth by so and so and not Venus, right? You could be like answer specific, for example, if they picked Venus in. And it's a trick question. Maybe A looks like it's the right answer, but you need to explain why it's not right and it's nice to be more specific and different answers that they pick I, I like to add a next option like a next button so i could just type in next over here and have this kind of like pop up after they pick an answer and i'm just going to leave this next button over here just 
for now because I didn't link anything yet. And I'll do so later when I like actually link everything. So again, I could keep doing the same thing here. I could, you know, copy paste this again and change it for every answer that they pick. And, you know, again, you could customize this uh, however you want it. So there you go. Now that I've done all of this, it's kind of smart to obviously copy and paste the whole thing for question number two, or you could just start from afresh and just start from like this format. So I could just paste this again. And question number two is, for example, um, let's see, when was the first car invented, right? And then I don't know, we'll just we'll just throw in some random numbers here. I, I don't know the exact answer, but this is just a reference page. So when they hit next, it goes to this next question. Number two, right? What, what we're going to do is we're going to go from here and we're going to start linking the slides, which is the most important part, right? So if they click this button, for example, I'm going to right click here and hit link. And I'm going to link this to a slide in this presentation. And for example, I'm going to change it to slide four because four is the Venus slide, right? So boom, there you go. Perfect. We linked on slide four. Now we're going to do the same thing for Mars link slide in this presentation. And you can see here on the left that um, Mars is on slide five Earth. I'm going to go over here, link and pick it to slide three and Mercury. Last but not least, I'm going to link this and pick slide six. Right. And now the reason why I didn't copy and paste this next button yet is so I could link this and then copy and paste it to all the other slides. Right. So I'm going to go over here and hit link and link this to slide seven to when was the first car invented. Now, when I copy this and paste it here, it'll all be linked to slide seven. So you don't have to redundantly do it. It just saves a lot of time and you don't need any of these to be linked because this is just the wrong answer. And from here on out, people will probably just hit next. Right. So let's give it a try. Let's hit slideshow here. And you can see here the quiz game is made and I'm going to, you know, choose what planet do we live on now? For example, I pick Earth. That's the correct answer. And, you know, the right answer is Earth. We know that we live on planet Earth. And what you want to do is you want to hit next. You don't want to click because it's just going to go to the next slide, which isn't technically the next question. So you want to hit next and it'll be question number two. If we pick the wrong answer, then it's going to take us to, you know, the wrong the explanation on why we picked that wrong answer. So, for example, I'm going to click Mars and it's wrong. And you can see that it highlighted the Mars wrong, which is my selection. And it'll tell you why Mars is wrong, specifically Mars, right? I didn't change it, but you'll know. So I'm going to hit next here. And then again, I'll take you to slide number two, where you can repeat the whole process and kind of make as many questions as you want, really, and just start copy pasting. Now, again, I think this is a great way to make your slides more interactive and more fun for your audience and just really anybody who wants to play a game, right? And you can make as many choices as you want, as simple as true or false, or like 10 choices of your liking, right? So really, it's just up to you. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.